Hello, everybody. We are double checking. I actually hit record. Time is going. Here we are. Welcome to our Monday edition of GeoGuessr here on the channel, where we have been and will be for a while doing each date in the United States just to uh, do a thing. Um, the other two days of the week are pretty much up in the air. If anybody has any suggestions for countries, maps, themes, or any other GeoGuessr thing, you would like to see me try go ahead put them in the comments below i'll look at them and get back to you same goes for any other games you'd like me to try as i have been branching out and doing some other stuff but anyway that's all in the past now we're uh in a garbage photo op here going through the great state of indiana indiana a very long line of just I'm going to be very, I guess, mean, which is completely unnecessary. Just a forgettable state. A lot of that having to do with me never have been in, been in, been in the state before. I've been close. I've been to Cincinnati, which you can see, not that far. Uh, it's just in the location of the country. It's almost Midwest. It's very East. East Midwest. It's just kind of there. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, Indiana, it's, uh, basically means, um, land of the Indians or simply Indian land, not like, uh, Idaho, which they completely just made up their, uh, the name of their state and it just kind of stuck. But here we are in Indiana. Capital is Indianapolis, which kind of chops up some Greek. I believe it's Greek for polis, or at least as that Latin. Either way, it's the city of Indian land. If you break down the etymology completely, that's what it is. Anyway, it was the 18th, well, sorry, 19th state in the Union. And by Union, I mean a uh, state admitted to U the United States. On uh, December 11th, 1816. Shout out to anybody who remembers that time. This is a weird place to put your gas station across the street. You could not fit it up anywhere else. We're at the Wilbur Corner Store. Oh, we do finally have a little bit of uh, East 142. Smiles. 13 smiles from nowhere. That sounds creepy. Anyway, I guess that's the root sign for Indiana. 142. I don't know how close I got to get to actually get the root signs, but I'm going to maybe hope to see it. I'm going to click somewhere just so I have an idea. This is very flat and, well, not flat, just kind of feeling a little rural. So keeping my eye out to just see if I actually stumble across 142. I'm just going to click us here. Maybe have some here. I'm going to get bad score on this too, just so you know. A lot of the state probably feels a bit samey. I mean, there are some uh, metropolitan areas, as I mentioned before. There's plenty of places, apparently, that have populations greater than 100,000, which is nothing that my state could actually even hold a candle to. It's a pretty small state I live in. Anyway, uh, anything else I can mention about the state? Uh, it's got a couple of professional sports teams. You got all of them based out of Indianapolis. You got the football team, the Colts, which were a transplant from another place. And then you've also got the Indiana Pacers, which are famously known for kind of doing nothing. They get like, I don't know how many, 145. I don't know if I can do good analogies, but I'm sure you guys know of certain teams in any sports league that you probably pay attention to that they do they're really awful for a while and then they get good but they're not like good enough to threaten to ever actually win anything like the oh they had like a maybe like a 650 percent winning average whatever you 0.65 winning at percentage something like that and it's just like they never actually threaten so yeah, their 142 did show up. It's just I didn't see it. And it seems to be a very thin strip, like a little tiny spot. But here we are. And probably what you can say about a lot of places in this part of the country, it's just 
Corn, corn, corn. Anyway, the Pacers, they're a team that they kind of get good. I mean, back in the mid-90s, they came very close to actually getting to the uh, NBA Finals. I think they might have done it once, but uh, my memory's hazy. Anyway, they're like bridesmaids, you know, never going to be the bride, never actually going to make a name for themselves in the sense that we're going to win a national title, anything like that. I mean, the Colts were pretty good. They Their their football team, they won a couple of times. Oh, that was a root sign. North Indiana, 75. All right, so we're heading north on 75. Let's try to find it. So I think it's just really going to boil down to me doing this quite a bit. Trying to keep an eye out for a number 75 anywhere. I don't know if I actually will. Um, the other, I guess, claim to fame Indianapolis has right now is the vice president. Um, was from Indiana. Uh, is there any other little things I can do? I mean, there was... I don't know. I, I don't have much. I mean, there's a Indianapolis 500. It's a pretty popular, famous, well-known uh, racetrack. The Brickyard 500, which is just the only real thing they keep calling a brickyard, is there's a yard of brick right where the checkered, checkered flag, the finish line is. I'm not seeing this number anywhere. So... My attempt to see it is uh, thwarted. However, this is kind of all I'm going to have to locate this. Um, yeah, I think I'm probably boned. I'm going to make a guess at a number. Again, I don't know their numbering logic. As with basically any place, honestly. Seeing a lot of 50s and 30s. 60. Well, 68, 57, that stuff's down here. They're also called the Hoosiers. I, I felt like I knew that at one point while like their, their college here is the Hoosier State. I think it might have been a Native American thing. I'm clicking. God, I've got... Nothing here. I don't know if you've also noticed that there's Trafalgar. There's a lot of like, um, oh, 75. Here we go. Let's see. We're heading north on 75, which happens to be a pretty uh, long old chunk of road. So I'm going to just say we're here. Now I got 30 seconds to try to find potentially a town. If I can do that. Um, but anyone who's been watching every state that I've done here so far, congratulations. Thank you very much for sticking through it as much as I am doing this. Um, a lot of the country is very much like this, if it's not a uh, city in any way. We've got a Tomahawk Hills golf course. Let's see if I can't happen to come across that while doing this. Um, it's, okay, we were a little farther north. All right. That's fine. I'm happy I actually got semi-close to one. Here we are again in a, I don't know what we'll call this, uh, new land development, maybe? Some of this, at least they were doing some, uh, drainage pipe stuff here, it looks like. Jeff Home Improvements. You give Jeff a call for something that having to do with 99. Um, let's do a little quick look-see here. Uh, a lot of industrial stuff. I mean, you can also look at this stuff on Wikipedia if it really seems to be a, uh, thing of interest for you. The average temperature right now, oh no, let's see here. Apparently the southern, if you, you can basically cut Indian anim Indian and Nanima. What is wrong with my mouth? Indiana in half and some of it apparently is in the humid subtropical. So I have a feeling that it gets hot as fuck sometimes up here. And this is a major highway. 
I want on that. Can I get on the highway? This is what I need. I need this sign. Jeffersonville, Charlestown. Hmm. That doesn't help me. Until Route 62. I need to find a way to get to that. That is my new goal. Can I find a road I can... Teakwood Landing. Can I go... Okay, that is not an entrance. You're a big dude on, a lawn, on that lawnmower. I need to find a way. Is that a pet cemetery? Totally a pet cemetery. I think I might turn... Hmm. This is getting me farther and farther away from this uh, highway that I really want to be on. Another transfer station here. Hidden Lakes. Okay, I have a chance to... Can I get on the highway here? That's all I want. That's, it's, it's what I'm dying to have. I need to get onto this highway. Nothing here is helping me get on the highway. We've got Je it's Jeffersonville. I don't know where Jeffersonville is, and I'm not... Okay, there we go. Thank you. This is what I wanted. This is what I needed. All right. So I need to get off. Let's head over there. Wait, 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 wait. I need to get onto an exit. I'm trying to decipher this. Board of Indiana River Ridge Commerce Center. That doesn't help me. What is this? I'm like so far off. Okay, this sign here is going to tell me. Here we go. We were on uh, 265 to 64. 64. I got to find off of 64. I need to find Jeffersonville. I'm going to click here just so I have something. Mm. Looking for 62 potentially as well. There's 62. Evansville. Okay, so we get off of that, but 62 disappears unless it comes right here. So I'm going to click here. And that takes me to 265, though. Jeffersonville's got to be around here. Hmm. I was so far away. Jesus fuck. Apparently we're outside of uh, Louisville. Over there in Kentucky. I'm trying. I'm, I'm really trying with what I got available to me here. And it's just not paying off in any way. This is Indiana, folks. Apparently the state, state speed limit is 55. We have a lot of abandoned... We got road work? I don't know. Construction of some sort. We have a lot of abandoned agricultural stuff. Lots of farms. It just feels hot here. This looks like a... Uh, interesting little front porch dealie they got going on there. I'm hoping to get a root sign here because this is just... I would have thought there'd been a, a bit more difference in this compared to states in the Midwest. Like, if you get to Kansas, just forget about it. This is flat and pretty much corn everywhere. Um, you can imagine what this looks like. Oh, 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 finally. Something. North Newton High School. Nothing. That does not help me. We're west on Indiana 14. So, again, this is a very boring um, geoguesser in that I'm just going off of root signs I find. I found 13. Makes me feel that 14's got to be near. There's 14. I'm going to click on 14 and actually go back. Oh, 14 is pretty, 
pretty long, apparently. So now I just need to... Oh boy. Um, go back to this high school sign, because my memory is awful enough. I do not remember what it said. North what? North Newton. That's just the high school. That doesn't mean that it's... Uh, and actually, the name of the town. You got Rensselaer, Aches. I'm just going to go along it and see if I see a Newton or North Newton anywhere here. Not seeing it. All right, so we have our chunk of road with a minute left. So let's go back here a little bit. And maybe see if something shows up. I doubt it. I'm just going to go and maybe see if I can't get a road intersection here. And it's a meridian. That doesn't help me. Speed limit 55. I need to get a road intersection. Please. In this land of flattened corn, a road sign is king. Here we go. Give me La Informa TCN. We got 100 East. There's 200. Okay, okay, okay. That's a number that doesn't help me. Oh, 100 East. Okay, that doesn't help me either. Or does it? No. No, it does not. Ah, man. I don't know. This one's hard. These are all hard. I'm just... Ooh, look, the Cessna Ditch. That's a thing you have to name <laughs> out here, apparently. I'm guessing. How far away am I? Very far away. We're at the goddamn border. Jesus, Miriam, and Joseph. There's Newton. Wow, this is very bad. And finally, a quote-unquote civilization. Okay, we are Huntington and Fort Wayne. We are on a highway. These are names I know. There is Fort Wayne. So, and there's Huntington. So I feel we're on probably 9 or 24. Let's see if I can't get a little closer to a stop sign here and maybe have them. Heartland Career Center, that doesn't help me. This intersection will, though. CR 200 West. We're on US 24. Okay. So now I'm just looking for CR 200 West. Let us on the Wabash Road. I remember a, uh, song we sang as a kid um, called the Wabash Cannonball. There is potentially it. I doubt it's that because that is West 200 North and this is CR 200 West. But it's a start. We sang a song called the Wabash Cannonball. I think it had to do something with a um, boat called the Cannonball that was on the Wabash River, and they called it the Wabash Cannonball. That's all I remember from it. I'm sure you can Google it. It's just about some boat, and it's it goes fast. This is a Wabash Stellar community, apparently. D2D Riders? What is that? Miller's Mary Manor, Rehab and Healthcare Center, huh? Wonder if this is where all the prescription pill rehabilitation is, or if this is like a retirement home. I can't make out that um, picture. I've kind of just claimed that I found where we are, and I'm just kind of peeking now at what someone living this far off the road here must do. What is this? Congratulations, Angel Miller. Our new Adon? 
the fuck say Adonis? A, a angel a Adon. It has to do something with rehab. Adon. I don't know, nothing's popping out. I want to see what they're selling over here. What do people want right outside of Oh, it's the Career Center. College Career Fair Day, October 23rd. Good for them. Well, let's see if there's anything else of note to talk about um, if Indiana. Um, let's see. Population growth. Median income seems to be $44,616, making it 36th a month in the United States and the District of Columbia. In 2005, well, no, that was a 2010 census. So, 2005, that was $43,993. Uh, let's see, that doesn't help me. The state religion, very important. Catholic seems to be the single largest denomination. Anything about government? Eh. Oh, Mike Pence. Oh, we were very much farther away than I thought. Well, it would make sense we're outside of Wabash, you dumb fuck. <laughs> I'm so bad. And the score proves it this time. My God. Well, if there's anything we've learned, Indiana is worth probably about this many points. I'm sorry if you've been there, if you've got love for the state some for some reason. More power to you. I very much don't, but hey, don't let my hate or uh, lack of knowledge thwart your reasons or liking for a state. You like what you like. I like what I do. And anyway, I'm going to thank you all for watching. Once again, the state is done. I don't think I'm ever going to do Indiana again unless it's asked of me. Uh, we move on to <clears throat> me choking right now. Iowa next in. Well, let's hope it's a little bit more interesting than Indiana is. But either way, I'd like to thank you all for watching again. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, gripes, rants, whatever you want, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will read them along with any other maps, countries, any or game suggestions. Go ahead and put them there too. Your week has started. And once it started, it will end. And the weekend will be here before you know it, or whenever your weekend happens. It'll happen soon. Come back on a Wednesday when we geo guess some more somewhere else. That's not Indiana. All right. Goodbye, folks.